you for popping in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We are doing a live simulcast by Spreaker.com as well as us uh, being here on Facebook. And the purpose of this stream today is because I want to be able to share some encouragement and I want to be able to pray. Um, there are a lot of people suffering loss right now that have lost loved ones, that have family members that are in the hospital, that are going through warfare in their bodies. And so um, I wanted to take a minute to be able to pray. So in the space there, um, um, in the thread, if you have family members that are ailing, that are sick, um, or maybe there are people that you know of that are sick and that are ill. And I want you to type their names in because we want to pray for them. Um, and if you have if you have family members that have uh, passed away or, you know, other people whose family members have passed away, type the name of their family because we're not praying for dead people. We want to pray for the people who are living. So please uh, type in the names of the families that have suffered loss and let us know. Where, let me know whether this is a prayer for a loss of a loved one or if this is a prayer for someone for healing so that we know who it is so that i know who it is that i'm praying for and i want to uh read a verse i want to read two verses of scriptures here because i want to charge your faith today and i see you apostle god bless you and we're going to pray for aunt maddie amen and please let me know if we're praying for her healing or if um, this is the family member of, or family, you know, what's going on with her so that we know what we're praying for. Those of you that are watching, thank you for watching. Um, but don't just watch. We want you to add the names. Everybody knows somebody that's going through. And these have been tough times. People are going through like crazy. And so I want us to be able to, um, I just wanted to be able to touch and agree. I'm not going to take up all of your time. I know some of us are getting ready. Amen. I see that. I'm going to pray. Amen. Concerning her healing. Um, and, um, you know, I know some of us are getting home from work and, you know, trying to get things together and whatever, um, you know, maybe you have to cook dinner. Maybe you can listen in, put the phone down and finish cooking your dinner and listen in. Maybe you can listen. Uh, God bless you, Nora. Bless you. Glad you're on. Um, maybe you can listen to the stream over speaker. Maybe you're listening and we, we can pray for you. Uh, we're on Facebook. Yes. I see. Thank you. We want that. We want these people. Uh, names of these families. We want to be able to pray. So I want to share with you a couple of verses of scripture um, that I believe is going to charge your faith on today, even as we go into the presence of God and believe him for healing and for deliverance and for um, encouragement. And and one of the things that sparked this for me is that, you know, I know that, um, you know, there are people that I know of that are dear to me who have family members that are in the hospital right now. Um, and then I know some who have lost their Amen. We're going to pray. Amen. God bless you. We're going to pray. Amen. And then there's some that have um, lost, you know, family members, you know. And so I just really just it was just on my heart to just stop what I was doing and then just reach out, you know, to those of you that are are able to share the names or whatever so that um, I could take a minute to just pray and speak a word of encouragement. Amen. And so let's look. I'm going to look real quick at this verse of scripture and I'm going to leave there. I promise you I'm not preaching. I just want to give you some word to encourage your heart. Psalm 30 and verse 5 says, For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And I want to speak joy over all of you who have lost loved ones and to the families that we're going to call their names out for those that have um, lost loved ones. We are decreeing over them today that that God would uh, allow his grace and his favor and his love and his comfort to rest over them and allow that that. Uh, you know, like the scripture says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. We are believing God for them that joy is coming. And then for those of us that are believing for healing, Luke chapter four and verse 17, excuse me, Luke back chapter five. So read chapter four when you get a chance. Luke chapter five, verse 17. And it says, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And I believe that tonight, that no matter where we are, the power of the Lord is present to heal 
all that are in need of healing. So let us pray. I want to pray. I see all of these names here. Thank you for sharing these names so that we can pray and call these names out before the Lord. Amen. We're going to pray right now. And those that are listening by way of Spreaker, believe God with I believe God with you and maybe I can't hear your you know who you are I don't know who you are that are listening but you can believe God as you hear the words of the of the verses of scripture and 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 catch hold of that word and believe God for that for you as well because the power of the Lord is still present to heal so let's pray father we thank you right now god we honor you for your word we thank you that the power of the lord is still present to heal even today god and we pray for these family members we pray right now god in the name of jesus god for divine health we pray for those oh god whose family members they have listed here we pray right now god for aunt maddie henry we speak healing over her body from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet god we ask you right now that whatever it is that is ailing her anything in her bloodstream anything that's going on father in any of her organs we declare decree over her right now god you're healing in the name of jesus we curse every work of the enemy we cancel every assignment right now god and even all these other names of these families god we pray god healing for the knight family we pray right now god for tanya pitts and olivia pitts god right now in the name of jesus god we pray right now father even for the miller family for lord for you to touch them god in their time of loss god you said weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning we declare joy for them in this time of loss. We declare, God, your peace in the name of Jesus. We cancel every assignment of the enemy. We rebuke the spirit of depression and oppression. We declare that their that their tears, God, that you would, oh God, drive their tears. You are the God of comfort and we thank you right now for comforting them, oh God, and answering every question. God, healing every hurt, filling every void in the name of Jesus and we give you glory. We give you honor. We pray right now, God, for Savion Warren. God, that you would put your a word in Savion's mouth, God, that you would cause him to be able to form words, that you would, oh God, cause, oh God, him, oh God, to be healed in his mind, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that there is nothing too hard for you, because we know that the power of the Lord is present to heal, and because of that, God, we know that there is no good thing that you will withhold from us, oh God, who love you, so we speak healing over his body, we pray for Lenora Smith, God, we pray that you touch her, we pray that you encourage her, we rebuke every spirit, oh God, of depression and discouragement. We ask you right now, God, that you make a way out of no way for her in the name of Jesus. God, we pray right now, God, for Dee Dee Clark's co-workers, the Anderson family. In the name of Jesus, we declare God total healing, oh God, over them right now in the name of Jesus. We speak, oh God, to their family member, God, that was in, oh God, even the family member that was in a motorcycle accident. God, we ask you right now, God, that you would work a miracle, God, on his behalf in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, God, even for all these whose names we have already called. We thank you, Father, that even though the doctors are there, even though they give their diagnosis and their prognosis, we know that you have the last say. You said, God, for us to trust in you, God, and that you, oh God, were able to bring everything that we trust you for to pass. So we lean on you. We depend on you. We stand on your word. We don't stand on man's words. We don't stand on the diagnosis of the enemy. We don't stand on the things that we have heard with our ears. We don't stand on what we see with our eyes, but we stand on your very word on today day, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for strength for these bodies. In Jesus' name, we curse the spirit of infirmity right now. Father, for your glory. We pray right now, God, for Wanda Hunt, for Deborah Adams, for James Jones and Garrett Hunt. We pray right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will touch every one of these bodies in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, for the Briggs family. We speak healing from cancer right now, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we confess over them right now that they are healed, oh God, in the name of Jesus, from every curse, oh God, in Jesus' name, from every sickness, from every disease, everything that came through the bloodline. We curse it right now in the name of Jesus, we declare and decree strength and healing from the crown of their heads to the very soles of their feet. We thank you, God, that this is, oh God, part of our inheritance because of the finished work of the cross, and we bless you for it right now. And I pray, God, for those that are having illnesses and sicknesses in their body due to poor health, I pray, God, that you will give them the motivation, God, to exercise. Give them, oh God, the strength to make healthy choices, oh God, with their food. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of laziness. We come against a 
addiction to medications, addictions to the doctors, addiction to the hospitals. In the name of Jesus, God, we declare and decree healthy bodies, oh God. You said, God, that our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Help us to make, oh God, the right choices so that we can take care of these bodies, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we bless you, God, and we honor you and we magnify you, oh God, in Jesus' name. We renounce every negative word every negative prognosis in the name of Jesus, even over these, God, these that we have already called their names out. We declare over them, God, that they will live and not die. Show yourself strong, oh God, even as your word declares. We stand on your word. You have already commanded us, oh God, that the prayer of faith will save the sick. You said heal the sick and raise the dead, cleanse the leper. And so we stand on your word right now in the name of Jesus. And we speak healing. We speak deliverance. We curse generational curses. We curse, oh God, every spirit. Spirit, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that will rise up against your people, rise up against our family members in the name of Jesus. And we plead the blood today in Jesus' name. We release encouragement. We release your strength, God, for those that are grieving. We pray right now, God, in Jesus' name, that you would allow the Holy Spirit, who is the comforter, to comfort them, God, even now. In the name of Jesus, let your spirit be felt. Speak to those families, God. Send your word, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you will minister to their hearts. In Jesus' name, send a word, God, even to those that are unbelievers. Let them know that you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are God. And beside you, there is none other. God, and we bless you today. We thank you, God, that weeping endures only for night. We command joy to come. We speak, oh God, to the morning and command the morning to come because you said joy comes in the morning. We thank you for the peace of God that guards their hearts and their minds through you, Christ Jesus. We bless you, Father, and we give you glory. We give you honor. God, we come against the spirit of the enemy that have come, oh God, to attack your people. God, to cause us to lose our focus. Father, we pray, God, your strength. God, that we will endure hard hardness as good soldiers. Every family, oh God, that's mentioned here, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray right now for the Rogers family. We declare and decree restoration, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Spiritual restoration, emotional restoration, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Every relationship, God, that you will bring restoration, oh God, for your glory in the name of Jesus. God, we come against every sickness, every disease, every ailment, oh God, we come against everything, oh God, that the enemy will fight, oh God, in our mental capacities. In the name of Jesus, we come against mental illness. We come against physical illness. Every attack, oh God, on the organs in the body. We plead the blood right now. We come against divorce. We come against separation. We come against right now, God, every spirit of the enemy. God, that will cause your people, God, to be discouraged, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we speak strength, God, in this time of trouble. We speak peace in this time of turbulence, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we bless you and we honor you. We magnify you. We speak, oh God, the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Even, oh God, for those that are suffering loss, oh God, that their loved ones, God, that have gone on, we pray, God, that you will minister to their heart. God, in the name of Jesus, you be their God of comfort. You be their strength. You be their peace. You be their hope. Oh God, in the midst of every situation that looks like it's hopeless, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we bless you for it. We honor you. We exalt you for it right now. We cancel every assignment of the enemy. We declare, God, that they will come through this time, oh God, without depression, that they will come through this time without regret, that they will come through this time, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, that they will be able to know that, oh God, you are their keeper. You are their strength, God, in the name of Jesus. And we bless you. We honor you. Even for those that are just watching, God, and those that are listening, Father, we pray right now, God, hallelujah, that you would make a way for them, that you would, God, heal them, that you would speak strength to them. God, whatever it is that they are facing, whatever it is that is ailing them, whatever it is, God, that have caused them to be discouraged or disheartened in this hour, we ask you now, God, that you will strengthen them with might in their inner man for your glory in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now that no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. No weapon of grief, no weapon of loss, no weapon of sickness, no weapon of disease 
disease, no weapon, oh God, of any kind that the enemy would send, oh God, is going to be able to prosper against your people. We thank you for hope in the midst of hopeless situations. We thank you for peace. We thank you for joy. We thank you right now, God, even for allowing your word, God, to speak to them in the name of Jesus. Speak to them, God, in the midst of every dark situation for your glory in Jesus' name. And we thank you for the praise reports. We don't accept anything less because your word declares that you are able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we ask or even think according to the power that's already working in us. Father, we bless you. We honor you and we thank you. And Father, as they go about their business the rest of today, let, oh God, the peace of God rest on their families. In the name of Jesus, I declare your peace over your people. In the name of Jesus, let the joy of the Lord rush over them, God. In the name of Jesus. And those that are sick, those, oh God, that are ailing, those that are in the hospital bed, God, we send your word because you said you sent your word and you healed them of all their diseases. And your arms, oh God, are not too short. Your word has not changed. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so for each one of these families, we declare healing. For each one of these, oh God, that are suffering loss, we declare your peace. We thank you for it right now. And we don't accept anything less. We thank you for the praise reports. Let them know God peace like they've never known. Let them know God joy like they've never known. Let them know you, God, hallelujah. God as the comforter as never before, God, in the name of of Jesus. And Father, we bless you for it. We honor you and every assignment of the enemy that will come to cause them, God, hallelujah, God, to be weary and well-doing because of what they're facing. We cancel it right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, for giving them, oh God, hallelujah, whatever it is that they are standing in need of, you are already able. We thank you, God, for dealing with their hearts, dealing with their minds, answering every question in the name of Jesus. And Father, we bless you for it right now. Hallelujah, God, we give you glory, we give you honor, we magnify you. And Lord, I'm looking because you are God. I'm looking for the reports of praise. I'm looking for the reports, God, that said that God did it. Hallelujah. And God, we don't accept anything less. Hallelujah. And we bless you for it right now. And we thank you that the power of the Lord is present to heal, that the power of the Lord is present to bring peace, that the power of the Lord is present to bring joy, that the power of the Lord is present, hallelujah, to bring deliverance in the name of Jesus. And God, we honor you and we bless you for it in Jesus' name. We speak the peace of God over every one of these that is on this stream on today in Jesus' name. Everyone that will hear these words, let it get into their hearts, let it get into their spirit, in Jesus' name. And listen, those of you, amen, that are praying for your family members, glory to God. Those of you that are praying for your family members, I want you, amen, to go to them and you declare over them in their hearing, hallelujah, that, that they are healed, that the word of God, hallelujah, is coming to pass in their life in the name of Jesus. Don't accept what you see with your eyes. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And we are decreeing even those that have suffered loss where loved ones have died. We declare in Jesus name that even out of this, because the Bible says, except a grain of wheat fall to the ground and die, it abideth alone. We are declaring fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That will come out of this situation that you will see God and that God will manifest himself in your family for your family in the name of Jesus like never before that you will begin to see the, that, that God will come forth and souls will be saved, that lives will be transformed, that the word of the Lord, hallelujah, will take root in your families even as a result of what has been lost, that no loss is for naught in Jesus' name. We declare it in the name of Jesus that no loss is for naught. Whatever you have lost, God is able, hallelujah, amen, to be able to give you the peace even in the midst of it and that at the end of it you begin to see how God works it out and he gets the glory out of it all in Jesus name and so we praise God for you all 
Amen. Amen. This morning, we pray for you right now for a miracle. God is still a miracle worker in the name of Jesus. He said, ask and it shall be given. There's no delay in that. And so, God, we stand on your word in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we pray that whatever the miracle is that Monique is in need of today, we declare that you do it for her, God, in Jesus' name. We ask you right now, God, that you will remove every obstruction, everything that stands in the way, every issue, every problem in the name of Jesus, that you will do it for your glory. Father, in Jesus' name, that you alone will be glorified. Not that flesh will be seen, not that flesh will be magnified, but that God alone will be magnified in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it in advance. We bless you, God, that it is so. We send the word and we declare that it is so and so it is in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I pray the Lord bless you and encourage you. As I said, I didn't want to keep you long. I know that things are going on. People got their evening constitution going on. Amen. But I wanted to just take a minute because it was on my heart to stop what I was doing to pray. Amen. For those who were suffering loss and, you know, suffering loss in their family who have lost loved ones and those, amen, who had those that they were praying for, for healing. And I believe God that he has done it. It is already done that that we have asked for. And the scripture tells us, amen, that we could commit our way unto the Lord. Amen. And trust in him and he'll bring it to pass. So I believe his word today in Jesus name. I pray the Lord bless you and keep you, strengthen you. Amen. And that you look for God to do what we believe him for healing in Jesus name manifestation of healing in the name of Jesus notable miracles in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we thank you hallelujah God bless you have a blessed night and don't forget to post your praise report after the Lord does it if you go to that hospital tonight and you see change you better give God some praise because the Lord has done it because his presence and his power is here to heal in Jesus name. God bless you. Have a blessed night. Amen. And those of you, amen. If you missed the prayer, go back and hear it again and speak your family member's name and declare and decree that healing will come for them in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a good night.